Okay, class. Today uh, we finish off our chapter five. Huh? Um, the solution. Yeah, the solution. So, what's the meaning? Mm, you know, this is a beehive. Huh? We have beehive, and what do you see here is uh, the structure. Uh, there is a shape. The shape is what is what's the shape? Huh? It's uh, hexagon, right? And it's recurring, yeah, recurring, recurring here. Yeah, the recurring. There is a pattern and recurring shape. Yeah, that. Uh, Feels a plane without living, without living, empty spaces or overlapping. Yeah. So that is uh, the meaning of tessellation. So this beehive is a tessellation. Eh? Tessellation. So a few patterns here you can see. Eh? Uh, this uh, tessellation consisting of triangles. Yeah? You can see all here the triangle. And then this one is rhombus, yeah, rhombus. Um, and then here, combination, uh, square and regular octagons, yeah, yeah, the octagons. Okay, so example 21, let's see if you can uh, determine whether each of the following patterns is a tessellation or not. Okay, this one. Eh, what do you think? How many patterns? Only one. Eh? Uh, only one. That is pentagon. Eh? Penta. Pentagon. So, uh, it's recurring. Yeah? It's recurring. So, this is a tessellation. What about here B? B, how many shapes? Okay, one triangle and then, and then it's it's recurring, right? Recurring all here. Uh, the same pattern, but you have here one one uh, square, but it's not recurring. So this is not a tessellation. Okay, what C C you have a, a recurring uh, what square and also a triangle so this is a um, tessellation no empty space eh? and of course this one also a tessellation the same pattern yeah same pattern occurring here only that it's a different color yeah but it's the same pattern so that's it class the, this the solution and the explanation is this one lah. yeah this is not because uh, does not recur yeah which is the square this one is a combination uh, just now we have said uh, we have already answered and this one also okay so you do this exercise ah uh, 5.4a yeah. This is very easy, like primary one, huh? the diagram. <laughs> okay, how to design the solution? This is um, one uh, skill that is good to know. Yeah, how? So I want you to visit this uh, link. Yeah, I, I will not show it to you, but it's good for you to know. Yeah. Uh, how to how to design a tessellation okay uh, isometric one thing uh, you 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 have to know this term uh, what is the meaning of isometric iso that means same right metric um, I think the the shape lah yeah so Isometric transformation include only 
translation, reflection, and rotation, ah, but not mm, enlargement. Not enlargement. Okay, why? Okay, if you look, uh, check clearly here. All these three transformation, the shape is the same. Yeah, it doesn't change the shape, the size of the shape. Yeah, but the orientation will change, but the size will not change. So, uh, translation, reflection, and rotation it will not change. Huh? So, tessellation is actually uh, related to isometric uh, transformation. Huh? Isometric transformation. So, if you see here, um, I will look at one example lah here. Huh? Example 22. Uh, diagram below here mm. Q Q is the image of uh, P yeah? is the image of P so you can you're, you are asked to uh, state the transformation involved and it is said that it's a tessellation yeah? uh, produced by isometric transformation yeah so um, what do you see here is actually Q is the image and there's two transformation uh, number one it's a reflection of course the reflection here this is the uh, line of reflection yeah uh, BC and also it is um, it is what oh, I use this color what color what color uh, purple um, it is actually a, a rotation yeah rotation of 60 degree because if you see here a b it's rotate here yeah it become here okay so it is uh, 60 degrees clockwise huh? clock clockwise center is here b okay? and then the second one is uh, R from shape Q. Yeah, R from shape Q, that means R is the image. So Q is the Q is the object. So once again, it is a uh, what? It is a uh, um, reflection under PC. Yeah. Eh, sorry. Uh, BD, BD, here. Yeah. From here, it become from Q to R. And also, you know, this is 60 degrees, so uh, the rotation R is the image. Huh? R is the image. And then uh, it's a rotation of 60. Why anti clockwise? Huh? Should be clockwise. Yeah. And center, oh, center D. Center D pula. Hmm. You can say center B also, but if center D, of course it is. Uh, Yeah, anti-clockwise, right? Anti-clockwise, yeah. If the center, if the center is B, if D is the center, so of course uh, the it's still sixty degree. 
yeah, 60 degree but it's uh, anti-clockwise eh? anti okay and s is the image of p eh? s is the image of p mm, the reflection line is here a b and then rotation is uh, if center a center a that means mm, it is uh, clockwise yeah? 60 degree 60 degree clockwise okay so should be not a big problem for you huh? all clever clever brilliant students so <laughs> you have to do exercise 5.4b uh, one question one ah question one only so easy so your first uh, pdpr maths uh, with very easy tasks to be done yeah so that's all class thank you very much please do your work